So if you've had treatment for prostate cancer, there are three things you should watch to see if you are having an adequate response to your treatment. Now, the first thing is after treatment, your PSA should dramatically decrease. In the case of surgery, your PSA should be essentially undetectable because what produces PSA, the normal prostate and the cancerous prostate tissue, all of that has been removed. So your PSA should be undetectable and undetectable means less than 0.1. So if your PSA after surgery becomes greater than 0.2, this is considered a PSA recurrence. And you may hear your doctors talk about this or you may see it online. And so PSA recurrence just means that your PSA is going up after treatment and it's, it can signify that that cancer may be active or it may need additional treatment or therapy. So the first thing is if your PSA is going up after treatment, this may signify that you may need some additional treatment. Second thing is if the PSA doesn't respond to treatment. So let's say you have radiation or hormone treatment or chemotherapy and your PSA doesn't decrease like it should, that can be worrisome for either hormone refractory prostate cancer or cancer that's not responding to the treatment that's happening. This is the second thing that if the PSA doesn't respond. Now, with hormone treatment, you would expect your PSA to decrease at least 30 to 40% with hormone treatment or androgen deprivation treatment. Now, in the case of radiation, radiation is different. Radiation patients, after their radiation treatment, their PSA is watched, and it may take up to two years for this PSA to get down to its lowest level the lowest level of PSA over that period of time is called the PSA nadir. And so this is the lowest PSA you get after treatment, essentially. And again, it can take up to two years to get to that, even, even longer. But this is the PSA nadir. Now, this PSA recurrence happens after radiation when your PSA gets to be a value of whatever your PSA nadir is plus two. So if your nadir is 0 0.4, PSA recurrence would be if your PSA got above 2.4. And again, that would just signify, hey, there's something going on. Treatment may not be doing what we expect it to do and what we want it to do. So your doctor will watch this. Um, and again, in the case of radiation, two plus your PSA nadir shows you the level at which if your PSA goes above, this is called, again, PSA recurrence. And it's different for surgery and it's different for radiation. Now the third thing is change in x-rays. So if you have a CT scan that shows an enlarging lymph node or an MRI that shows cancer growing outside of the prostate or a PET scan that shows a new lesion, if there is a change in your x-rays, that can also signify that the treatment you are having right now is less than ideal. That's when you want to get together with your doctors, come up with a plan, refocus on a new plan perhaps for treatment of your prostate cancer because change in x-rays again tells you that something new is happening. So. These are three ways you know if you're on the right treatment plan or if you may consider changing to other treatments. There are some treatments that, that do not show that decrease in PSA and, and primarily immunotherapy is one of them. 
that will not typically show a decrease in the PSA. So something to be aware of. But these are the three things. Hope this was helpful in helping clarify PSA after treatment and PSA as a tool to see who needs treatment and x-rays as a tool to see who needs perhaps a change in treatment or additional treatment. Prostate cancer is a journey. Guys can live 20, 30, 40 years with prostate cancer. And especially now as new technology, new medications, new chemotherapy agents, better treatment for prostate cancer is extending guys' lives. And men are living healthier lives with prostate cancer over this last five to 10 years than they certainly did 15 to 20 years ago. Again, with better treatment. You can't stress enough health of your body. Health and wellness has to be a part of day-to-day -day improving your health. That's got to be a piece with prostate cancer because I believe it can lead you to a, to a more fulfilling life, a healthier life, and it can allow your body to do what it does best, which is heal itself from the inside. That's it. So that I'm Dr. William Stiles talking to you today about prostate cancer. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, Please hit share. Share it with someone with prostate cancer that may benefit from this knowledge. Thanks for watching.